Hello everyone and welcome again to St. John's um, and we're going to do a little walk around today see some of our school and our classrooms as we go today uh, I just wanted to say hi and um, we're so glad that your child is with us and all the children that we have here we have 114 children in our enrollment right now uh, we have 27 in uh, preschool and we have 87 in our k-5 so very very excited about that I'd love to have some more folks if you know some other people that would be able to benefit from a Christian educational blend like we have with our academics and our Christian uh, growth and also our community service we'd love to talk to them and Mr. B would love to be able to help you with that so anyway we're gonna go around and see some things that are going on here at St. John's St. John's Lutheran School and we are accredited now too so we're very very proud of that also Yeah, just kept, kept a shot here. So fifth grade's out here uh, on the four square doing their um, morning break energizers, and then we have the transitional kindergartner out there in their playground area. We're going to go over there, and get a little closer up there, and see them over there on the side. It's in our our playground area back here in the blacktop. Thank goodness it's not raining. Okay, come on in, Mr. Anderson. Can you guys go over there and show Mr. Anderson what you do on the playground equipment? What? Y'all just play. Y'all go play. This is our TK class, and they're out here for their morning recess time. And they are running around. Miss O is our teacher there for the transitional kindergarten. And where's Miss Becky? Miss Becky is our assistant. She's over there at the far end watching the children also. Good, hello. Hello, give a wave to the camera. I'm a Spider-Man. I got one. I yeah. got <laughs> Look out, look out. <laughs> Going too fast. A <laughs> lot of energy. So there we have the toy outside toy box out there for everybody to kind of be creative with their toys. The playground equipment here, but then the toy box is there. And they get plenty of use in that toy box. Let's get preschool. This is our preschool class. It's the small little guys. Hey, Miss Anderson. So we're coming in to see how you guys are doing. Looks like you're really getting involved with a lot of stuff. They are. All their creativity going on. Let's come over here, Mr. Anderson, and see what they're doing. There's Christian. All right. So you can see they got a lot of activity going on. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Everybody wave at Mr. Anderson. He's got the camera going. Say good morning. Good. Hey, Lucas. Lots going on. How you doing, buddy? Alright. <laughs> A lot of energy. There we go. Alright. Yeah, what are you guys doing today? What have you done? Here you go. Come over here. Come over here and stand here. So what, what letter is that? Huh? That's the letter S. S. See that S? Yeah. Show that to the camera. That's good. Letter S. And then she's got colors. We were working with fall and all the different colors. They had to follow the color. Oh, that's good. Look out, Lucas. You're in the way there, bud. Thank you. Good job. Very good. Okay, very Thank good. You. Thank you. What do we say, boys and girls? Thank you! Thank you for letting us come and visit for just a minute. We'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Okay, friends, you can come back to play and use this. Our boys is Hey, 
same as Nickel saying. Wash your hands. Getting ready to start reading. Oh, good. So you're cleaning up from outside recess. Just this got in some recess. This is your chance to drink your water, and then the water bottles go back in the window. Yeah. All right, so Mr. Anderson, take some pictures. Okay. So you just Let's go now. over our sight words. Our sight words. That. That's good. classrooms uh, so because a lot of parents can't come in here they can't really see how things are going on mr. Anderson you want to turn that other light on there so we can get some light over to the far end there we go uh, we just want to say hi to you all so what are you working on right now who can raise your right hand and tell me what what are you doing right now in your classroom uh, Jacoby what do you got going on We're eating snacks. So I see you got your water bottle. Wade, what about you? What are you, what are you doing? Drawing. Drawing. Okay. Caroline, what are you doing? I'm reading a book. Reading what? a book. Cool. Ella, what are you doing back there? I'm snack. Snack and just kind of munching and crunching, huh? <laughs> All right. Good. Timothy, what are you doing back there? Eating snack. Eating snack also. Okay, good. Andrew, how are you doing? Or should I say, Dave, uh, Daniel. You did a wonderful Daniel job today. Huh? Why did I was just drawing some more snacks and ghosts? Oh, there's some Halloween. I love ghosts. And, and there's this game on Google called the Magic Cat Academy. It's so much fun. And I almost beat it, except I got, I got, I got beat by one level. Oh, no. Well, anyway, boys and girls, this is Miss Thomas's class. I just want to make sure. Hi, Miss Thomas. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we'll be moving on. Thank you for letting us visit Wait, and interrupt your snack time. Huh? What did you know I don't know. I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to the fair. And I'll see you guys on PE today. I won't have PE okay. with you guys okay. today. Sounds this afternoon. Good. And don't forget picture day tomorrow. Yes. All right. Okay. All right, thank you. Mr. K here again. We're in our library with Miss Wolfert, and she's got second grade coming in today. So they're coming in to find a spot to sit. So please come on yeah, in, boys and girls. Yeah. The books have been dropped off there on a table. Everybody wave to the camera with Mr. Anderson. Hello, Mr. Camera. Yep. We're just kind of doing a walk around, showing the people uh, what's going on here at St. John's. So please take a seat, like we always do. And I think Miss Wolfert's getting ready to read you a story. This is gonna be your Fun school. Nathan, join the family. I mean, it's like almost over here. Good. Okay, second grade. How are you today? Good. Yeah. Uh, you're behind me. You won't be able to see anything. Nathan. How about just over there? There's something okay. on your shoe. Under your shoe. <laughs> well, look at that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Thank you very much. Okay. Today I'm going to just start a chapter book so that you get some idea what it's like. Triplet Trouble and the Talent Show Mess. <gasps> Who has triplets? Not me. I have two. A brother and a sister. Oh. I have only Who one. Who has triplets? A sister. Brother and a sister. Oh, well, I do. I do. 
my have teacher a has triplets. Miss Keela. Yeah, Miss Keela triplet. So I thought you might enjoy seeing I, it. Okay. I have Put your hands down. Mm -hmm. Triplets mean they're all all three are Thank born you, at the same time. So. So. Mr. K here again. We're coming into the third grade classroom. Come on in. So, uh, who can raise your quiet hand and tell me what you guys are working on? Um, What's, who, what are you working on, Silas? Uh, we're working on a, like, a paper called, like, on a, on a book called City Greets. Is that a reading book? Yeah. So you do a little bit of reading? Okay. I see Hannah's doing some writing. How would you say that? And Jaden's doing some writing over there. Okay. So during their language arts time. Okay. It's not language arts. So third grade classroom looks very bright. All right. Thank you, boys, girls. Thank you for letting us visit. We'll see you later. You got it going? Looks like you got an activity here, going here, on up here in the lady. front. We got to get up here <laughs> up close and personal, huh? Yeah. Let's see, get over that way, Mr. Anderson, over there and kind of shoot it this way. What? You know, We're trying just coming to, to visit for a minute. Trying to get all my piles of junk. <laughs> <laughs> piles of hey, literacy, hey, right? Hey, We're doing hey, just uh, papers. Hey, Will, uh, how you doing? Do it? Where do I so you have, it looks like they have an activity going on. Is this for reading? Uh, Mitchell, will tell. Take your mask off and face the camera. Tell us what we're doing. Language arts. Doing what? We're, do, no we're monkeying around. Oh, he has no idea. Anybody have an idea what you're doing? We're monkeying around. Monkeying around. Yeah. Monkeying around. Yeah. See, we're gonna monkey. See, sometimes you can monkey around monkey in a classroom. Yeah. It's okay with a teacher. It's it's hard. Hard. Exactly. Chairs. You've got a banana. Where? Where? This is not a All right, now, listen up, listen up. I want you to look at your card, and you're going to decide if it's it's singular like one monkey or plural like two monkeys. Is that what you're Okay. Looking at your card, everybody has one? Yes. All right. So, how am I going to make that decision? Uh, Alex, stop. How am I going to make that decision? What am I going to look at? You're going to. Stop. By checking if it's an S because if it just says Cheo, then it's one. But if it says Cheos, then it's. Cool. That is one method. That's one way. It can also like end in es. It could end in es. Good. Or just e. Up. Uh, raise your hand, please. Yes. If it has a y, it has. Uh, depends on it. If it has a y, it can either be i e s or. Right. We could have changed the y to an i and added e s. That's good. Okay. Can you back up some sort of Everybody wave at Mr. Anderson. Thank you, boys and girls, for letting us uh, come in. Look at your little group work here with. Plurals and singulars. Thank you, Mrs. Carden. What about you? Uh, what do you have? Read that one. Mice. Mice. All right. Did I get you? If you're cutting paper, you're not going to get this. Okay, here's a fifth grade class. Uh, please um, don't mind this interruption for just a second. We just come in here, just kind of see the classrooms because there's some parents and grandparents and people don't have a chance to get inside the school. So wave at Mr. Anderson here with the camera. Uh, who can raise your quiet hand and tell me, what are you working on right now? Maps. What are you working on right now, Jacob? Math. Math. What specifically in math? Elora, what are you guys specifically working on? Division. Division, okay. Division of single numbers or double numbers? What do you think? True. Double numbers. Double numbers or two digit numbers, okay? They're word problems. And is this long division or? Long. Long division. Oh, so you got to keep your columns straight. You got to do it. Okay. We're and working with remainders. What uh -huh. do you do with the remainder? What do you do with the remainder? That's always a good thing. So here is what Mr. Anderson's working with with the overhead and his uh, document Simon. camera. So very nice. Very good. All right. Um, good. Thank you for letting us jump in here for just a minute. Take care, fifth grade. Okay, boys and girls, if you are not focused, now the only person. Uh, let's see. So let's look at some of this artwork here, Mr. B, Mr. Anderson. Hey, 
Hey, I'm going to the fair today to see oh. my artwork. Oh, good. Yes, um, great. Yeah. That's art. So this is artwork too, right? Yeah, so this, this is, is art. artwork from our art class. These are the owls. I think there's some owls at the Carolina Classic Fair. And that's us. Yeah, I think you. Uh, there's a couple people here. So Olivia's got a picture of her owl at the Carolina Classic. I think Kaylee does too. So good. Let's move down this hello. way. Hello. And then we got some of the classwork here. I think they're working with trees and fall. This is some of uh, Miss Patterson's art classes. Uh, again, doing some creativity with some puzzle pieces colored in with orange and yellows and fall color themes. Here we have some uh, leaf studies from uh, the art class with the acorn glued in. I think they must then be oak leaves. They have an acorn there. Here she's used some uh, children portraits showing some of the rain. Rain coming down and their white ye or their yellow slicker. Trying to work with expression. I know wonderment. I see some wonderment, some confusion. I see some people looking with happiness. Then we got our monster pictures of Frankenstein. This is third grade with art class. They were working with some uh, facial expressions and also with the size of a head I think with proportion I think she said she was working with and of course they make the eyes and some different a little bit differently each one and I don't know if you're familiar with Pete the cat he's a character in some of the books and Pete the cat is blue with the yellow eyes so they got some really good Pete the cats here and also have some Halloween uh, watercolors looks like up there. So very colorful hallway that Miss Patterson has been helping and work with in our art room. Okay. Very good. getting ready for some drumsticks and tater tots. I don't know what those are. Those are potato, potato dogs? Oh, chicken tenders and drumsticks. And of course, we got the rolls going on. Come on back here. We'll see where the ladies are. They're hiding back here. Yeah, put, your, put your pretty smile on. I put a mask on. Here we come through. Here's where the lovely cooks stay and get their menus ready to go. So, Miss Lisa, say hi, Miss Lisa, Miss Holly. Hi. So thankful for you guys to be here and keeping our kids fed. Thank you. Thank you. So here we are at our bulletin board for the theme for our year. Uh, these are the heroes of the Bible that showed courage and strength because God gave them that to lead the people in whatever ways that he had them to do. We also have included on our bulletin board here all of our children in the school with uh, one of the Bible characters' uh, bodies, so to speak. But we have had a really good response from all the kids, very excited about being strong and courageous in the Lord and not to be discouraged but that knowing that God is with us in all that we do. So this is our theme for the year, and we have all of the kiddos uh, displayed all through the, the bulletin board. And uh, Miss Harden,
helped us with the design on this and put the pieces together and cut the pieces and uh, we even had uh, Miss uh, Edmondson, she helped get the letters cut for us. She has a special machine at her place. So she also contributed to this uh, in Asheville. So we appreciated her help with that too. So anyway, we, are, we give glory to God in all that we do here. We're so thankful for everything that God has blessed us with that we're able to have face-to-face uh, -face instruction and be able to do the work that he has before us. So we give glory to God. And uh, thank you all for coming to the chapels too on Wednesday. We uh, really appreciate you all being able to come and be able to share with the worship with each of the different classrooms that each of we have each week. So anyway, until next time, glad to have you with us. God bless you all.